Hello everyone and welcome to the recording of our coffee lecture working with Citavi. My name is Laura Renerken and I am part of the Department Information Literacy at the University Library. In the next approximately 10 minutes, I want to show you the reference management program Citavi. I want to start by shortly explaining to you why you should be working with a reference management program. The short statement you can see now should make it a little more tangible for you. Reference management programs such as Citavi make academic writing a lot easier for you. Disclosing which information has been found where, as well as citing it correctly and thus making it verifiable, is a big part of the good academic praxis. So you don't get lost in your sources and citations, Citavi can be of help. So in this lecture, I want to give you a quick introduction to the program by firstly showing you the interface. What feature can be found where, what are you seeing here and which areas should you pay closer attention to? Then I want to show you the so-called knowledge items, which are a little more advanced in working with Citavi, but also unique to this program and thus particularly interesting. And lastly, I'll present you the add-in for Microsoft Word, which really brings the program on one hand and your everyday working on the other hand together. A quick heads up, Citavi 7 has been out for a couple of weeks. Its interface was a bit redesigned and Citavi added some AI features. Citavi 7 still has some bugs though, which is why we would still recommend working with the older version, Citavi 6. This is what I'll be showing you today. This is an open Citavi project. In this project, I've already collected a bunch of books, journal articles and websites that I maybe later want to cite in my paper. On the left, I can see all added references sorted alphabetically by author. In the middle, I can see the details on these references, abstract and summary, bibliographic data, etc. I can also change or add information here. On the right, I can see attached PDF files. The Citavi interface not only allows me to collect bibliographic data on my references, I can already work with the text itself in the program. Up top here, I have different possibilities to add new references to my project. I can either add references manually which usually is a lot of work and also prone to errors like spelling mistakes and the like. I would recommend to add references instead via identifier. Here you can paste ISBNs or DOIs that you maybe copied beforehand. Another possibility is to directly research literature to my, on my topic through Citavi. Here I can choose catalogs or databases relevant for me and search them through Citavi. Most of the time, it is easier though to directly research in databases, since here the search and filter options are better. From databases, I can add my findings either via identifier or by downloading my hits from there in a format that Citavi can read, which would be the RIS format. Last but not least, you can add references by uploading PDF files into Citavi, for example, via drag and drop, where you just put them in your list here. Or if drag and drop doesn't work for you, or you prefer to import multiple texts at once, you can also import via file in the upper left corner and then choose import. As long as these articles and text have an identifier, Citavi can pull the needed bibliographic data from it. Once you have attached a PDF to your reference, you can read and of course edit these through Citavi. Choose sentences or passages that seem important and then you can choose different options. A very simple option is the basic highlight in yellow. All other options will create so-called knowledge items. Here you can choose between the direct quotation, which will show up in light blue. 
the indirect quotation, which has the color purple, a summary, which will be green, or a comet, which will be orange. When creating a knowledge item, you'll always be asked to give a core statement and a broader text. Most of the time, the core statement is suggested by Citavi, but can be changed. The text itself is yours to choose, except in this case, because we are creating a direct citation, it wouldn't make sense to change the text here. The page range or other ranges are sometimes uh, filled in by Citavi, sometimes not, so keep an eye out for that. Knowledge items can be managed via the Knowledge tab. Here you can see and sort all your knowledge items. They are linked with the respective text passages. They can be tagged with keywords or sorted into categories. This can help manage your extensive text collection. When you're working with knowledge items, you have all your knowledge in one place your Citavi project. They not only come in handy when working in Citavi, with the Citavi add-in from Microsoft Word, you can add them directly into your paper. The Citavi Word add-in is automatically installed when downloading Citavi. Keep in mind, students at RWTH working with Microsoft 365 might have to use the Citavi Assistant. Here, the basic idea is the same, but the functionality is slightly limited, which is why today we will focus on the regular add-in. Via the Citavi pane, you'll first have to connect your Word document with your project. Once that is done, you can make various settings, add, remove or edit citations and create your bibliography from here. Up top, you can change your citation style but most of the work is done via the window on the left-hand side. To add a simple citation, move your cursor in your text to the correct position. Then, with a double-click, a simple in-text citation gets added. Your bibliography will be set up at the end of your document, depending on the citation rules defined in your chosen citation style. From this Citavi pane, you can also directly add your knowledge items as your text to your document. For example, with a few clicks, you can easily add a direct quotation or other items you created in Citavi. Citavi will add the text you saved beforehand, either the direct quotation or other text you added yourself, as well as the citation. The citation will be added to your citations list in the Citavi pane. The reference will also be added to your bibliography at the end of your document. Once created, the plain text of the knowledge item can be modified anytime through Word. Citations created with Citavi are dynamic though, which means they cannot just be modified through Word. This dynamic citation has to be changed through the Citation tab in this Citavi pane. Here you can, for example, add page ranges, change them, or also delete your citations from here as well. That would be all for this coffee lecture on Citavi. On the slides that are also available in Moodle, I've collected a couple of useful links for you. Also check out our Citavi trainings that we offer. Details on dates can be found on our library's website. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and my colleagues of the Help Desk Reference Management. You can reach us via email. The address is on this last slide.